In this lesson, we are going to cover a color animation and a visibility animation in WinCC Unified. I have the tool screen open right now that was created in a previous lesson. The tool screen contains a momentary push button as well as an I.O. field. I'm going to select the momentary push button and go to the events tab. In the previous lesson, we configured the press event to use the set bit and tag, and it's going to write a value of 1 to the bool tag 1 when we press the momentary push button. When we select the release event, it is going to execute the reset bit and tag, and then reset the bool tag underscore 1 tag to a value of 0. The bool tag 1 value is also displayed in this I.O. field. I am going to select the properties tab of the momentary push button. And I'm going to go down to the appearance area and then to background color. The static value column is the current background color of the push button. So right now the color yellow is selected. The dynamization column is where you can pick how you are going to dynamically change the background color. So I'm going to click in this area. And then in the drop down, I've got a variety of choices that I can choose from to control how the background color is going to be dynamically controlled. In this lesson, we are going to cover a tag animation. So I'm going to select tag. And we're going to use the bool tag underscore one to control the animation of whether the color is going to be changed on the push button. So for the type of animation, I'm going to select range. In the range animation, there's a condition that can be entered in. So I can put in a range of values here, or I can put in a single value. So I'm going to put in two conditions, and I'm going to have condition 0 and condition 1. So next, I will select the tag value, and I will go to my HMI tags and pick my tag table, and pick my bool tag underscore 1. So now this tag, bool tag underscore one, is going to control or used to determine which condition is going to be used. So condition zero, the background color, will be yellow. Condition one, I'm going to change that. So I will click on the background color for condition one and select the drop down. And I'm going to just I'm going to pick a green color. Now I'm going to minimize my work area, so I've got a little bit more room over here. And so for condition one, I've got the background color. I can also enable flashing. And then if I enable flashing, then it will flash between the green and then the alternate value, which is going to be the red color. But I'm not going to do flashing here. And then you also do have a flash frequency that you can set how fast the flash rate is going to be for switching between the two colors. Next, I am going to take a circle object. And I'm going to put that circle object out on the screen, and we'll make it be just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to center it. So I'm going to select my I.O. field and the circle by holding down my shift key and selecting the two objects. And then I will pick align selected objects horizontally. So this will center those objects. I'm going to select this circle object and I'm going to pick the background color. Right now it's set to a gray color. So I'm just going to change it to be a green color. So when the momentary button does set the bool tag underscore one, I want to make this circle object become visible. In order to change the visibility or control the visibility of an object, I'm going to go into the miscellaneous area. So I'm just going to minimize the appearance area, expand out the miscellaneous area, and locate the visibility property. Currently, the static value is that this object is checked, so that means that the object will always be visible during runtime. The dynamization column for visibility is set to none, so it is not dynamically being controlled. So I will select none and bring up the drop down and select tag. We're going to use the same tag that we use to control the background color of the momentary push button. So I'm going to go to the tag area and I'm going to select my bool tag underscore one and accept it. I'm going to use a range 
animation, and I'm going to put in two conditions. So I have condition 0 and condition 1. So for condition 0, the visibility is true. For condition 1, the visibility is true. What I want to do is change the 0. So when my tag is equal to 0, the object will not be visible. When my bool tag underscore 1 is equal to 1, the object will be visible during runtime. So I'm going to select my HMI, and I'm going to start the simulation. I'm going to go down to Runtime Values, uncheck Keep Current User Administration Data in Runtime, and select Load. Then I will start my Chrome browser and log into the Runtime system. I will select my User Admin, and I will enter in my password, HMI. One, two, three, four, five, and select sign in. I will select the tools screen and then I will press and hold my momentary button and you can see that the background color of the momentary button changed from yellow to green. And when I take my finger off the momentary button, the background color goes to yellow. Also, we configured a visibility animation. So when I press the momentary button, it will make the green circle become visible. When I take my finger off the momentary button, it resets the tag value to zero, and that circle will go invisible. In this lesson, we covered a basic color animation and visibility animation in WinCC Unified.